Hello everybody. In this video we will look at a very interesting manga. It begins with the fact that we see from the back a girl who is closely watching some guy with whom she is desperately in love. Of course, she doesn't want him to know about it, since she generally does not want a relationship. Because they imply two scenarios, the first is that the couple will be happy together or they will just remain friends. In the same situation, this is impossible, but do you know why? Because it wasn't a girl, but a guy, damn it, by the name of Yunbu. He was super very much in love with that guy. This love pushed him to do very strange things. For example, to enter the beloved's house, he sprinkled the intercom buttons with some kind of white powder, something similar to flour, or maybe this is flour. Who knows? In general, according to the final result, he still could not open the door. At the end of the day, sniffing the pillow and imagining his beloved, he pronounced the name Sano. This clearly caused a lot of fantasies in his head. Yunboom noticed a long time ago, before the army, it turns out that even in college, it was that very typical universal favorite, a sensitive guy with a mega prepossessing aura. And one day, there was a moment that made a lot of sense to Yunboom. In college, their eyes met and from that moment he could not forget him. He was interested in getting to know him better in every sense of the word. But unfortunately, he did not manage to do it until he graduated from college and then he receives a summons to the army. In fact, it's strange that he was taken there. He had a crazy shortage in weight. He was an outsider in his squad. He was always bullied and insulted. And one night other guys wanted to abuse him, but they didn't have time. Sanu managed to separate them. He was in a parallel squad. After that incident, no one else approached Yunboom and he was able to graduate from the army in peace. When he came out of there, on a street full of people, he met Sanu fleetingly. He was with some unknown girl again. Yunboom was very vulnerable and sentimental, so he couldn't just put up with it. Crying at home, he realized that he couldn't forget everything and treat San indifferently. Immediately the next morning, Yunboom went to his beloved boyfriend's house and tried to open the door again. As an evil police patrol drove by, they watched this territory because of frequent unauthorized break-ins into houses. Noticing Yunboom, a policeman with huge black eyebrows, by the way, remember him, then he will be involved in a very interesting story. In general, that officer's assistant came up and asked what he was doing right next to Sanu's door. Yunboom was confused at first, but then introduced himself as a relative and that he allegedly needed to pass something on. The patrolman believed in this version and, after saying goodbye, returned to the car, but did not leave. He waited until he finally opened the door. First of all, Yunboom was very surprised that they believed him, because he was shaking as if he was outside in minus 45 degrees. And then the very moment happens. The code was entered incorrectly and the policeman has already gone to detain the kid. He decided to try his luck, entered another combination of numbers and lo and behold, the lock clicked and he went inside. The house was saturated with the smell of his beloved. He touched every little thing that was there, not even hearing that some girl was moaning in pain in the basement. And the most interesting thing is that Sanu was on his way home, but on the way he met a patrol and the officer with whom they were friends. Well, between the lines, he said why shouldn't San hurry home? Because his cousins are there right now. His stricken face was indescribable and Sanu immediately hurried home. Meanwhile, Yunboom, who was carried away by his beloved's bed, heard strange sounds from the pantry. Deciding to check, he went there and saw how a completely bound girl with a broken leg was lying and even begged for help with her platoon. He opened her mouth and asked what the hell was going on here. Abruptly, her plea for help changed to requests to run, because the owner of this house and the culprit of this celebration was standing behind her. Sanu hit him with a baseball bat, saying that he had not seen his relatives for 10 years. He swings again to hit Yunboom harder, but then our boy in love shouted about his love for Sam. This is an unexpected turn for everyone now, but it was worth expecting, because what can you not do with emotional and stressful situations? Sanu sat down and asked again, because suddenly he misheard. After all, it's not every day you hear a declaration of love from an unfamiliar guy. Yunboom told about the college and the army and how he saved him from bullying. Sanu only grinned back at him and said that there was not enough room for two in the basement. Still, we think that after these words, he will most likely take that poor guy upstairs. He even already started to climb, but San came up with a brilliant idea just to take and push Yunboom down the stairs. Why not? The only thought present in the head of the poor guy in love is a capital misunderstanding. How could such a nice and nice guy turn out to be such a tyrant? Then the manga takes us to the two policemen. The assistant officer decided to ask how he knows Sanu. And it's just hard to believe. It turns out that the parents of this domestic tyrant were killed even when he was at school. This case was referred to among themselves as a double murder, but the case was never solved. Then the assistant decided to show off his intelligence and assume his version of the murder. In life everything happens and suddenly Sanu did it. Maybe he had motives, who knows. The officer strictly forbade considering such an option. The thing is that this assistant was once an investigator, but he was demoted because of his behavior. 
the officer threatened that he could be fired altogether. Next, we are again transferred to the events that take place between the main characters and the first thing we can see is the corpse of the same girl, as well as a young boy lying in his underpants. The girl had previously tried to scream, but the guy was passed out due to falling down the stairs. The footsteps of Sanu approaching were heard, he was going to feed his prisoner. But the first thing when he came, he immediately felt that girl and about an unexpected fact, she became firmer than yesterday. Yunbun was of course shocked by everything that was happening. Then Sanu started touching the guy, because he has such thin legs, just like a girl, only overgrown. Before feeding, the tyrant told him to appreciate he is still alive, because after the death of his father, he does not kill men. Well, then, he stuffed canned oatmeal into poor Yunbun. His pitiful look makes us understand how terrible it is. After such a vile scene, an even stranger turn of events comes. Sanu kisses Yunbum, despite his mouthful of disgusting oatmeal porridge. God, Yunbum forgot about all his pains and tears that hour. He again began to make sure that his beloved is the kindest and most merciful guy in this world. But friends, it was not there. Sanu apparently suffers from bipolar personality disorder, because he thought it was time to remind him of his true appearance and cracked a huge Yunbum hammer on his leg. As a matter of fact, he lost consciousness again from the terrible pain. When I woke up, there were painkillers and the hated oatmeal again. Sanu began to tell his victim about how he took care. He bandaged his legs, gave him pills and now he will feed him expensive porridge again. By the standards of other preserves, this was good. Yunbun was busy exclusively eating pills and didn't really listen to Sanu. Still, we understand that it was a fatal mistake, because people like him almost always love attention and this case is no exception. For this, in fact, Yunbun also got what he deserved, due to the fact that the tyrant thought that the victim was pretending he decided to spoil the body a little again. This time, Yunbun couldn't stand it and peed himself in pain. Sanu decided to show his concern and took him to the bath to wash. It's over, all this is happening in a very rough form. Well, at least he didn't leave him sitting in a puddle of urine and thank you for that. After all the water procedures, Sanu decided to tell us more about his fetishes and dressed Yunbun in a t-shirt and skirt, saying that he looked like an easily accessible woman. Finally, they changed their location and found themselves in the corridor. Yunbun was trembling with fear and pain, did not understand what to do next, but he did not dare to leave the house. And again we can observe the inadequate state of the tyrant. He first called him a coward, and then once again limited the line beyond which it is impossible to go. Then he came up again and said to smile, and not to walk with a sour face. Yunbun unquestioningly obeyed all orders, to which Sanu said that he was annoyed that he obeyed him in everything, and then clarified if it was otherwise, he would wring his neck. And that's how you order to understand such a person. At that moment, I felt especially sorry for Yunbum, but on the other hand, he came to Tom's house on purpose. And now comes a very interesting moment. Sanu takes Yunbum's wet palm and puts it to his cheek, while remembering how his mother did it. That is, in his victim he sees something like the image of a mother. Thus, the author gives us a hint that all these mental problems in Sanu are clearly due to the family. There was silence between them and then Sanu says I love you. Of course Yunbum thought it was addressed to him and we think so too, but do you know who he actually said it to? Mom, in her upbringing. But a Yunbum has already managed to reciprocate. A masochist what can I say? In general. Then nothing special, Sanu ordered him to do all the housework and cooking. From life becomes like an abusive routine of a couple in love. Sanu constantly belittled Yunbum and if he suddenly made a mistake, he beat him without mercy. Day after day passed like this. The victim is already used to violence and even tries to study everything that might not like it. But one day, Yunbum is given the opportunity to escape from this hell. He heard that the front door was open, and Sanu was in the basement sharpening a knife, because last night he cut badly. I also have a question here. What was he doing there with a knife at night? But maybe we'll find out about it later. In general, Yunbum could not escape. He doubted too much and of course was afraid, because the consequences can be very deplorable. Later there was a moment when Yunbum imagined how he kills Sanu and feels just excitement at the same time. So the author tries to show that the victim is already losing his mind and is theoretically capable of murder, which is expected, after all these bullying. So we are constantly being shown everyday life. Now Yunbum is cleaning in the bathroom, sorting through the contents in the boxes, on Sanu's orders. And in the very last one he finds a jar of poison. Well, and then a brilliant idea comes to his mind, because this is the easiest way to get rid of the tyrant. Everything went like clockwork, if you don't take into account the fact that it was today that Sanu offered to eat at the same table today. And then just at the most important moment, when Sanu brought a spoon to his mouth, Yunbun began to smile so suspiciously that it was noticeable to the naked eye. Therefore, the cook was ordered to eat first, and he ate it. Surprisingly, there was no effect at first, but after a couple of hours he fainted. Sanu, the man who personally wanted to kill Yunbum, was saving him from certain death this time. I gave him water with salt so that he would spit everything out. 
He had been lying in bed for a couple of days and had already regained consciousness. Sanu came to him and asked very anxiously if everything was okay. Yingboom did not expect this at all, and especially that everything would be as usual with the domestic tyrant. Half asleep, he asked how it happened that everything was fine with him. Sanu was already seriously and cautiously told to tell everything that happened, but if he found out the truth, Yunbum would lose a leg or an arm as punishment. Therefore, it was a quick decision to say that he was amazed that they had dinner at the same table, and not as before, Yunbum ate practically on the floor. Sanu decided that they had already become close enough and decided to tell why such a shabby table is still not in the landfill. And now, the author reveals to us one of the most important parts of this character, Sanu. Even as a child, constantly observed the cruel attitude of his father to his mother, he always humiliated them. If they were at this small table, and his father, being supposedly the owner, ate at a normal high table. Honestly, it explains everything. That's why Sanu treats women like that and doesn't touch men. This is all a family model of relationships, which is laid down in a child from early childhood. Then he decided to listen to the story of Yunbum. He said that he had no parents at all and he lives with an uncle who is a very toxic person. But Yunbum himself did not want to live, because he is terribly afraid of loneliness. For these words, Sanu decided to humiliate him once again and said that this was an insignificant and pathetic position. But he also recognized the fact that now, when they live together, Sanu feels comfortable and as if he lives with his mother. It's all really very strange. It's not clear what's going on in his head. Once again looking at the scars of Yunbum, Sanu rushed to kiss them and at that moment a spark slipped between them, they kissed and spent a little time together. The next day it all started as usual, Yunbum was cooking soup, but he was thinking about something completely different, namely about last night. These thoughts filled him so much that he even burned himself with a pan and accordingly missed it. Well, that's it, the end, now a very cruel punishment will overtake. But, like me, you will be shocked again by this unpredictable Sanu. He ran up and immediately put his hand under the cold water and then applied ice to the burn. Yunbum thanked him, but in his heart defeat was excluded. How could he still become a completely different person? While he was sitting and thinking about it all, Sanu abruptly shifted this piece of ice from his hand to his mouth and then decided to cool his mouth too, so the kiss happened again. Then life changed to before and after, no one knows how long it will last, but Sanu became very caring. He cooks food, cleans the house himself, changes the bandages on his feet. In general, it turns out to be quite a relaxed married couple. On one of the days when it was necessary to go to the city, on business, in general, there was a feeling that he had agreed to meet with some girl, but we will find out for sure later. Sleeping Yunbu, he wanted to move to the basement so that he would not have the opportunity to escape. But a miracle happened. Yunbum looked so cute and innocent that San decided to leave him to look after the house, warning that he would return at 7 p.m. and if God forbid he crossed the line, he was finished. Yunbum understood him and continued to sleep. At 6 p.m. he woke up still at the table and decided to at least change clothes during this time, taking the laundry out of the washing machine. It seemed to him that he was taking a person out of there, but it was all a hallucination, all this is the poor kid's damaged psyche. So, there are 40 minutes left before San's return. At this time Yunbum is thinking about how he would do the right thing in this situation. To return home where his uncle is waiting for him, because this is his home and he is loved there after all. Or risk his life, so to speak, because he is happy with Sanu now. But at any moment everything can change dramatically. In fact, no one knows, even Sanu himself, how his mood will change. In general, while Yunbum was thinking, he had already somehow moved close to the door. Just wanting to breathe in a breath of fresh air, he opened the door a little, he smelled fresh rain and a plume of tobacco appeared out of nowhere, someone was smoking a cigarette very close by, sticking out not only his nose, but also his face through the door crack. Yunbum saw Sanu sitting on the threshold of the house, listening to his favorite song with headphones. Oh, horror, what would happen if he noticed the poor kid? Thank God he managed to close the door unnoticed. But nevertheless now the question has arisen, did Sanu check Yunbum up? waiting for his attempt to escape to make sure of his loyalty. You will find out the answer to this question in the following videos. If you want to continue, then please be active on my channel. I will be very grateful.